Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to my channel. I recently made a video where I needed to convert some 900 FITS files of the Sun into TIFF format so that I could stack them and further process the image. In doing so, I realized that it wasn't that easy to get a hold of a FITS batch converter. In fact, it was quite hard to find. Most of the ones that are available seem to be online only or come at a fee. So uh, this is a quick video about a image processing tool called Fitzwork, which I have found to work quite well for this. Now, Fitzwork seems to be a, a German website. According to them, Fitzwork is a Windows image processing program mainly designed for astronomical purposes. It contains batch processing, histogram functions, and many filters, etc. Fitzwork works entirely in floating point arithmetic. Um, I will uh, show a clip of me using Fitzwork to convert my solar images at uh, the end of this introduction. I have also found this useful NASA website, or it appears to be a NASA website, fits.gsfc.nasa.gov forward slash fits underscore viewer dot html, which also contains a slew of fits image viewer and uh, conversion tools. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and clear skies. What's nice about FITS work is that it handles batch processing. And since I have 900 images of the sun that I need to convert, this is going to be very helpful. So in FITS work, what we do is uh, first we need to create a file that holds our debayering information. And to do that, we go into processing, bare interpolation, uh, and then the mosaic camera raw image. Uh, here, let's take linear interpolation and set our debayer pattern, red, green, green, blue. We can test that by generating the image. That looks good. So now we need to save the file. Click on save and let's pick a location. Uh, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to call the file debayer and save. Good. Cancel this. I can close out this uh, test image. All right. Now we can do our batch processing. So for that, we're going to go into file, batch processing. Here we have to select, select our start file. That'll be the first file uh, in our sequence. And then destination file. We're going to pick our output folder. Uh, pick our output folder and let's give it a name. So the file name is just going to be the sun. Uh, underscore this was taken the images were taken in April on 27th so 2023 all right that's our destination file and we have to give it an extension to tell the batch processing what we want to convert the files to so destination file I'm going to call this uh, a TIFF file uh, and then we have to go to the next step, so step two of processing. And here we are going to select uh, dbayer raw image. And we are going to pick the dbayer file that we had created uh, earlier. So to do that, uh, where is my backup drive? dbayer FCM. And... That should be it. Nope. We have to select all files in folder. And that should process everything in that uh, data capture folder. And now press start. All right. So here, uh, if we go into our TIFF folder, here we are. Here are the images that are being generated by the batch process. Now I can import these into any other tool. I can stack them. I can make a video out of them. 
uh, I can sort of 